as well, but Eminence still in here watching mid. The bomb carrier rival going to be trying to play around with him. I just want to watch this from rival's point of view. Decides to move around towards a very slow round here. Both teams know how vital this one is. Yeah, definitely. The first pick's going to pretty much dictate the rest of the round. Um, Chiefs, see, see, they're sitting in spawn here. They've caught on to what Tainter Mines have been doing. They've been getting one pick or getting a push, and then someone's been flanking, but they're so cautious that someone's coming around. Pretty much it's happened almost every round now, and they make their way down to A, and they have mid control, which the bomb carrier does not want to die there right now. This is a very, very dangerous position for that bomb carrier. Rival does get away unscathed, and he's probably going to get this plant down unless Danny gets a grenade here. Damage is so lucky he backed up because I think Chiefs were very aware that there's going to be a player always on that low wall run. And you can see Dean, he would have had the best point of view from the pool just here. And he himself is actually going to run out to a damage. May get the pick. Dean can't poke. He needs to just hold out here. But instead he does poke. Big risk, but it may play off. Pay off. Let's have a look here. Goes out. Challenges play just behind him. It's going to be Beast. And Beast gets the jump. And Dean, super aggressive. Don't know how I feel about that one, but we'll see. Tainer Mines on the defense. They've got the man advantage. Not anymore. Trading out 2v2. Rival and Maka versus Beaston and Damage. Bomb already down. It's on Tainer Mines to make a move. The Vision Pulse was big and Maka got destroyed by Beaston. Even though he knew exactly where he was. Rival forces the 1v1. Damage is on the bomb. Damage has clutched up in this map. This game type versus Mind Free. Can he do the same? It's up to Rival. Rival smashes him and 6-3 is going to be your score in that S&D. Chiefs walk away with that Rival. What a clutch. The Duke. The dive, and then the smackdown at the end. Damage falls. How did Maka not pick up that kill in number one? How did Rival get the round? Dive, dip, duck, duck, and dodge, basically, from Rival, and he just outplays damage for the win. That's that's a momentum killer, too, because if they end up losing that round based on Maka not picking up those easy shots with the Vision Pulse, I think you would have possibly seen Chief slip a few more rounds. That big, big play from there from Rival to end up with 8-5 and five as well, that's going to be huge momentum going up into the uplink. What we saw there is Maka <laughs> get destroyed, really. Let's let's just say what it is. The Vision Pulse out. He lost that gun battle, which he surely should have had. I think he was then on the edge, ready to jump. Luckily, Rival was there to talk him down. Great ne negotiation skills with that VMP to just, look, that's just wrecked at the end there. He got the tags on him too. I'm even scared that Rival pretty much ran past, damage missed him. He slid too far, damage missed him. He jumped past, damage missed him, and he fully kills him, basically almost fully red. It he, was got, like... he got tagged up though. He got tagged up. Uh, it's, it was actually amazing from Rival at the end there.